Hey guys, Gogsy here and welcome back to brand new matchday vlog. Today, Mother will take on Greenock Morton in the fourth round of the Scottish Cup. Will we see Clark and Amber Ribbons on the trophy at long last for the first time in my life? Uh, let's not tempt fate. Uh, today, Morton will be posing a very difficult threat, just as they did in 1991, just as they did last year uh, in a lockdown season. Will we hopefully get through? Let's find out. On the well. Match back of 2022 on the way. Here we are at Far Park. There's about five minutes till kick off. Mother over Morton. Uh, a very recent, a very common fixture in the cups recently in the last few years. So uh, we've seen us play Morton a dozen times. It must feel like that now. But anyway, my prediction today is 3 0. I like the fact that Jake Carroll's back. Uh, Van Veen's on the bench, but I think what we have should be enough to deal with Green and Morton. I mean, last time we played them, it got, we got pushed to penalties. And the last two Scottish Cup games we've played have gone to penalties. The last Scottish Cup game I watched in person live here against Samir also went to penalties. So anything but penalties is a good result today because it does my ticker a world of bad. So hopefully Motherwell can win. My prediction is 3 0 on the way. Very great hit from the Morton faithful. attacking in 10. I mean, we did have a few half chances, shots, but more. I put up a really good fight and they've not come here to lie down as they have done in previous uh, trips in which we've absolutely battered them. But honestly, I don't know what to think of us. We don't have, I mean, the fact that Van Veen's on the bench, our top goal scorer this season is on the bench. We have to bring Van Veen on, we'll go two up top and play two wingers and just go direct because we have to. I mean, Morton are not that bad. I'm, I'm just a bit dead-hearted about how we've played. I mean, I wasn't expecting us to completely whitewash them. But I was also expecting us to be at least 1-0 up by now. Five, bring on the second half. On the well, it's, it's not going to be easy. Second half about to kick off. Ah, uh, hook it to my bean. We have no one up the puck. Come on! Need a wake up call here. 
Roberts, look at that bounce! Fucking pushing with the penalty, look at the ball bounce! Strong line, Donald! Oh, it's fucking hell! Talk about a Toblerone boot! I got fucking out of ball!
my god! Do not dare! Oh my god! What the fuck? This happened last year. This happened last year. They scored the last kick of the ball. They're done. I couldn't do that again. Fucking hell. I need a light in after that. Now to just enjoy the celebrations of just scraping past Mormon. Enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, Glasgow in all its glory. No, this is not a hostage situation. We were actually staying in Lenny Henry's gaff. Premier Inn uh, over a Saturday night. Because, uh, I mean, when, when a game goes to extra time, you just can't be arsed going home, can you? Uh, but I thoughts on the game, well, just be quick. Uh, I'm glad we avoided the embarrassment of uh, getting beat 2-1. I'm sorry, but it just sounds like someone's playing ping pong in their bathroom. <laughs> I know, it's funny. I think it's just the shower. Over the piece of the game, the statistics don't lie. Motherwell had the most shots, the most shots on target, the most possession, but of course that doesn't win you games. The stats don't actually take into context of how the game pans out. Morton restricted us very well to a lot of shots outside the box. Um, there weren't many shots, or I mean... Jack Halton had a lot of saves to make, but there, there seemed a lot of routine saves. There was nothing that you could have said, oh, what a save that was, and it wasn't like gold mouth scrambles. We, we were just restricted to long shots, and uh, Morton played very well and defended valiantly. Uh, but finally, we broke them down. But, I mean, we were breaking them down, but we weren't, we really lacked the cutting edge in front of goal, as Graham Alexander said, and thankfully, well, I mean, it had to take a wake-up call from Morton scoring in the 105th minute, right in half-time and extra time, uh, to get a scoring for the second half. Kevin Van Veen coming on was a massive help. I mean, I don't know why he wasn't starting, because he's a top goal scorer, uh, as, as it stands, and, I mean, proven goal scorers should start in cup games, and... I don't care if he's got to be arrested for Hibs on Wednesday. We just weren't good enough on the on the day. And thankfully, Liam Donnelly's 121st minute strike was enough to see us through because I don't think my ticker would have taken penalties. I tell you what, the, the relief from the whole of the stand. It was so tense, even from the Morton side, because they could have... But as soon as we scored, just the relief. I know. Oh, it was just amazing. I mean, as bad as it sounds, like when when you support a club like Motherwell, it's moments like that, scoring a 121st minute winner against Morton. Okay, it's not the most glamorous thing in the world, but that like it's moments like that we live for as supporters of so so called smaller clubs because, I mean. We had to go. We had to endure one hundred and five minutes of torture to see that fifteen minutes of pleasure. You you just don't understand it until it happens to your team. Mm -hmm. Just how much relief, uh, just rushes off you. And mm -hmm. I'm just so glad we're through. We've got Aberdeen in the next round. That's going to be a fantastic game. It should be the televised fixture. It might be a Sunday match. 
Uh, so we might have a Saturday off. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I'm pretty sure they'll announce that very soon after this video goes live. But thank you very much everyone for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next vlog. Of course, Mother will now going to be playing uh, two games a week for the next few weeks. So you're going to have two doses of me every week. How joyful.